and welcome back for another episode of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. So we are still in Stardust Crusader part two and uh, we are at episode 29 obviously and I will go uh, with the theory, theory time, easy theory that we will take care of that Anubis god of death in today's episode and even so Jotaro is there. Is there. I really hope that Polnareff will be the one to take that god of death down because he is a swordsman like I said in my last conclusion and that god Anubis seems like he is himself kind of a swordsman even so the stand is a sword so to see Polnareff take care of him would be just kind of really great to see and obviously Jotaro kind of took care of a lot of the stand user that was um, in their ways so seeing Polnareff take care of a swordsman since he is a swordsman himself would be so great but I'm not gonna lie though I don't know what they will do to destroy that sword I'm like either they will burn it Either they will throw it like in the ocean. That's what I think. I just can't wait for them to like click, wake up and know that this word is the flipping stand, you know? So I think obviously since he had two users, I mean, I mean that's word. I really hope that they will wake up fast enough <laughs> for them to not get injured like Polnareff was in the last episode, but it seems like it healed quite easily because he didn't seem injured at the end of the episode but yeah we will see and i can't wait for this episode uh, those are my theories and before we get started i just wanted to say a huge thank you to my patreons thank you guys so 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 much for your trust and your support over this platform but i want to say a special thank you to my king queen and got there thank you so much for your extra support guys and if you want to join us over there i am currently watching avatar the last airbender we are at book three i am watching a dragon ball and obviously the full reaction of my youtube contents uh i don't do early releases yet uh, but maybe later on when i will have enough patrons to upgrade my vimeo account so yeah if you want to join the link is in my description box and without further ado guys let's just get started you know what i know that jotaro has his eyes closed but i'm pretty sure that he's not asleep oh my god that that was so fucking smart oh wow oh my my the question is, when will they woke up? Oh! 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 My god! My god! Polnareff is so smart! Sometime I'm like, yeah, let's go Polnareff! I was like, maybe we'll like wake up in the middle of the episode. No, no, at the beginning! That will help so much! Oh, so that means that... Um, the the stand of Jotaro will probably be the one to beat that dude in the end. You know what? I feel so dumb because I always uh, forgot the name of Jotaro's stand. Is it? Star Platinum? Silver Platinum? Oh no, I think it's... Star I don't remember! I feel so dumb. Like, I, I, oh, I don't know why. I think it's Star Platinum. Is it? Oh my god, I feel so dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry if it's not that. I think it is Star Platinum. Is it? Is it? Oh god, that question. Star Platinum! Oh, thank god, I am not dumb. Well, yeah, sometime, but... Ah, I'm so happy. He's just a puppet. Yeah, well, I think you're gonna have to kill that puppet, you know? Yeah, the stand got stronger because they know Silver Chariot. But... What? But they don't know Star Platinum yet. Even so, he's not using a sword. If he's fast enough, he can just, you know, grip it, maybe? Grip the sword? Obviously not by the, the blade, but by the handle. 
Why is why isn't Jotaro just punching that dude? It would be enough. He punched so flippin' hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I really want Polnareff to win. I really want it. Oh snap! Ah you want uh, he's like mm, not twice. Not twice. But first time it was impressive, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Star plush <-num>. Boo! <laughs> it is gorgeous. You know, that's what I was thinking. He's fast enough and he's powerful, but he doesn't need a sword to take care of that dude. Yo, he just punched you once. How can you remember all of his moves? Ah, uh, dude, stay back. Yeah. <laughs> At least they listen quite fast. I hate when people are like not listening and they get killed and they're like, why? Yeah, right. You didn't listen, so die. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would have never guessed you would catch the blade and he broke it. He can't, doesn't come. Oh, boy, boy. Honestly, I always underestimate Star Platinum. I'm not gonna lie. But I would have never guessed he would break the stand like that. Wow. And his hands are not even caught. Is he dead? Uh, probably not. Yeah. Just take the sword. Oh god. This is the worst. You know what? I was like, it's the beginning of this episode. Oh no, no, no! No! Don't! No! Fuck. Oh god. Not Polnareff! Ow! How? I don't know why in my mind I was like, she already has a stand. Like, another stand can't take control of him like that. Yes, he did. Man, you will die. Okay, I would have never guessed that episode would become so spicy so fast. <laughs> Not gonna die. Maybe breaking it from the end of down so that way it won't have any swords anymore. With L? Maybe? Will he be able... I knew it. I knew it. All the time it was like, he was like, all this time it was like, I won't get catch like twice. And it is true. But wow, I, I can't believe Jotaro can think so fast. So please just sit since it's down, kind of, just take the sword and throw it through the ocean, please. Or not. Just don't tell me we'll kill himself and Polaref will die. I won't accept it. Wow! Dual wielding with the actual. <laughs> oh my god. When I thought it couldn't be worse, but at least he didn't try to kill himself, so that is something great. I just can't believe my theory was so wrong about Polnareff beating uh, Anubis, which, which he kind of did at the beginning, but right now uh, he's the one beating Jotaro. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why they are fighting in water now, or maybe not. 
No, absolutely not. In the end, <laughs> I was like, I'm sure there's a reason why. No, no, it's not. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Is that what? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why. No, 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 it's not dead yet. Will he break it while it is inside him? So that way it won't be able to use it again? It could be murdered. What the heck, <laughs> Giordano? Oh, boy. I knew it! I fucking knew it! That you would like to stray from the angel. Oh snap. Holy snap. He did take care of that Anubis. Oh wow. It will be murder, but not for him. It would be it for Anubis. Oh boy. Just don't tell me they will get arrested by the police. Police. <laughs> ah! I thought he was dead! Oh my god, this is... <sighs> Why? 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 Please, someone, just take that fucking sword. Like, I'm starting to get tired of that. Uh, like, the fact that it can use anyone like they want. Like, I'm starting to get tired of it. Like, come on. Tell me it will just end up in the ocean like it was supposed to. Oh, it would be so great. It would be so great. That would be such a great ending. Please just don't kill anyone. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Shit, I was so panicked. <laughs> he passed through the wall. Oh, wow. Okay, I know I was aiming it for some time, but yo, this part is so great! How the, the like enemy can be so flipping hilarious sometimes. Don't tell me we'll just pat, pass right through him. Don't tell me the cow will fall in the water. <laughs> Just the fact that he can't see it from there. Yes! I was like, oh, so sad that cow will die forever. But yes, maybe that cow will be able to survive. Oh, uh, that's... Such a great ending. Hey, fishy. <laughs> hey, fishies. Come here. Yeah, Nana. Touch me. Uh, I apologize. I know I was seeing how I was so tired of like this stand using a lot of users. But this ending couldn't have been better. <laughs> you missed retired. Oh, this is great. It's crazy how many of them got injured, like, in such a short period of time. Oh. Come on! Yo, he was enjoying the sunset. Of course. <laughs> I'm not... I'm never going with it anywhere again. Oh, come on. But that shows how Paul Red has a lot of potential and he can be really scary <laughs> if he wants to. In the end, we're just 
orange is about to say they are all weak to women's legs. <laughs> oh, let me guess. This is the other stand. Oh, she has white hair. That is interesting. I think I will love her. Even so, she's probably really mean. <laughs> Okay, friends, so that was it for today's episode of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And like I said in my ending, okay, I really want to apologize about the fact that at some point I was beginning to get tired of like that flipping stand, like just using everyone's around. Like I was feeling like I was at a point that I was just, yo, with it hand, with it hand at some point, like I really thought Jotaro killed him by just crushing that sword. But no, that kid, that kid had to took it again. But just about how everything just turned out in the end. And I think just the fact that the sword just passed through the walls and how Anubis was just reacting like, oh shit, I was so scared I just passed through that wall. That, that word, that wall. Oh boy, that was so great. And obviously I can't wait to see the other 10 users because mm, let's... Like, I'm not gonna lie, most of the stand users are male, which is totally fine. And I think right now we haven't met one really good female stand users. Like, they, the one that we saw, most of... Mm, you know what? There's not even one that I'm like, ah, her power was like, wow. But I've got the feeling that chick will have... Mm, a little something different than like all the other ones didn't have maybe you know how i have a weakness for white hairs like characters with white hairs and i think she will be interesting i really hope so though even so her stand will maybe just be for one episode i really hope her stand will be awesome and just something special you know like that's uh yeah i would say what like that's word. that's word. that was something else um <laughs> oh i just love how jotaro is just you never send me with him again okay please <laughs> for fullness like no one's want to deal with him <laughs> but i kind of understand why like he's uh he's something else but yeah overall i was really happy to see that pulveris pulveris kind of took care of um anubis at first but to see how it turns out that he was the one fighting Jotaro in the end and how Silver Chario just had two flipping swords, that was amazing. That was great. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this 10 user. I, honestly, that part two, all the 10 users seems so interesting and I just love them all so much. Definitely Wango Boingo bro Brothers. Oh my god, that, that, that is so hard to say. Uh, I've got the feeling we will maybe see them again because they are not dead yet. And, uh, you know, their power was just so interesting. Like, it was so great and it was just so funny. Uh, but if I have to say which one was uh, my favorite stand that we saw so far in part two, probably the blind dude, that the first one that we met. I think his stand was something else. And just how he was acting and how he got to injure so many of the crew. Yeah, I think for now he's like my top one and Wongo Wango brother in terms of like being funny and everything. They are my top one. So yeah, tell me what, which one is yours? Which one is your favorite stand user from part two? At least from, from like the beginning to where we are right now. I know we beat up maybe two or three so there's not a lot <laughs> but tell me which one was your favorite one so yeah thank you guys so much for watching really hope you enjoyed and we will see each other in my next video bye bye